All right, I'm back. So I popped them out of the mold. I just wanted to come back and show you these pieces popped out of the mold. You can see how nice and shiny it is. That's pretty much ready for paint. Pretty much ready for paint. It's a fresh piece out of my mold. Now what we have to do is I've got to go around and clean up these jagged edges. You know, you just smooth that over. Yep. And we're going to cut out this. Cut out, cut out the face of the uh, headlight. That goes right up against the headlight. Here's the molds. Put their parts out of them. Here's the inner. Here's the inner over here. See if I can hold it for you. There we go. All right. So that's the inner. And of course, they'll cut their holes for the speakers and stereo, whatever. And again, same thing. At this point, when you get, when I get it out of the mold, let me see. It's hard to show. Yeah. We go around. We clean up all these jaggedy edges. Smooth them all out, you know, you can see here. Smooth all that mold off of there. Drill out the little mounting holes here. Do our, put our posts in. Oops. Put our posts in and that's all set. Yeah. Anyways, so that's it. Just wanted to show you. By the way, when you get up, when you order fiberglass parts, Lately, what I'm noticing, a lot of them come in, they're already in primer. You know, they already look like this over here. Already in primer. Now, there's some small imperfections there, but I'm seeing parts come that are primered, and there's a lot of imperfections still, and I think that's just a case of a bad mold. You know, um, so they've got to kind of doctor it up. You, and you get some problems. Once in a while, you get some voids in the fiberglass and, uh, and little areas, little things, you know, but for the most part, you get a part like this, all nice and shiny like that, you can pretty much, there's three coats of gel coat on there. You can sand that down quite a long ways. Like it's three good heavy coats of primer. So you can sand that down quite a bit and then you put some nice epoxy primer on there, you're good to paint. You don't even have to sand it after that. So this is almost good to go. From the moment uh, it ends at your door, you can scuff it up, put some epoxy primer on it, paint it, and slap that right on your bike. So anyway, for the Indian guys, so if you got an Indian um, classic or something that came with a windshield, um, something like that, you know. All right, adios.